Hi everyone, it's me and Hallie here on this lovely Tuesday after after afternoon. And we're gonna talk about unhealthy and healthy attachments and what are some signs from our personal experience that we've seen that should be like, oh hey, stay away, or hey, this is a, this is a healthy place for me to be. So we do this every week, you guys, and we're gonna cover anything that has to do with growth, healing, self-love, and if you guys didn't know, we have six tickets left to our workshop this month on the 18th. So the tickets, the link is right above in the title. So let's go ahead and get started. So, that's Hallie. Yeah. Love, love just introducing you into this. So what are some signs that you have seen or you would like for people to know? Mm -hmm. Let's start with unhealthy and then yeah. we'll talk about healthy. What are some signs of a unhealthy attachment. I think for me, the biggest sign to look out for within yourself is um, a feeling of chronic anxiety mm. around receiving that person's attention. I know that when I'm like in that place of like, when am I going to hear from them? When am I going to hear from them? When am I going to hear from them? It's probably because I'm in a unbalanced, not reciprocal connection. Like I have more of attach, more of an attachment to that person than they do with me, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and to me, that's a sign of being in an unhealthy attachment is mm. when it's not reciprocal. And you know when it's not reciprocal, when you're <laughs> anxious all the time waiting to hear from that person and then when you hear from that person and it's like you just got the fucking heroin injection <laughs> and you're just like okay Instant. I'm better I'm better you know if someone's attention is the thing that like makes you feel like you can be yourself again and you can have peace in yourself again that's a sign that you're probably in or unhealthily attached to someone yes it's dependent you're dependent on this person to make you feel alive again or everything is great again right and there's probably some form of neglect happening or your needs just aren't being met like you have more emotional need than that person is able or willing to meet for you mm -hmm. um so yeah that's that's my main sign for myself i love it that yeah. is oh my gosh that's bringing about old memories that i've had and Another thing that comes up for me too is when the person is inconsiderate of your feelings. Yeah. Um, so when, let's just say, you, you, yeah, you're in a relationship with this person, whether it's intimate or friendship, and you have noticed multiple occasions where they were inconsiderate of your feelings. So that could be a sign, that could be a sign that they currently don't have the space to really be committed in this relationship right now, mm -hmm. to really grow this relationship. Because if they did, you would really be able to be present with one another and have connection. There's disconnection happening if there's some sort of like, um, yeah, inconsideration of one's feelings. Yeah. And when that comes up for me, I'm just thinking about all the times where there was no attempts to understand one another, mm -hmm. right? Um, especially when you guys have a dispute or an argument and, and, and it's unable to be resolved, there's something going on there where it's either not a safe space or again, there's not enough room to really um, process these pains together. So yeah, no space. Yeah, all those signs can lead up to this person actually not having enough space um, to nurture the relationship, to give the relationship attention. Yeah. Yeah. Another really fucking clear sign <laughs> that amazes me how much I personally, I'm going to speak from personal experience, mm -hmm. but also, you know, many, 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 many people will just flat out ignore mm. are the actual words coming out of the person's mouth when they tell you that they're not in a place for a relationship or they don't want to be in a relationship with you <laughs> and we... you're still going there for attention and for your fix very very unhealthy it's the clearest sign that we all have is the is the our ability to communicate, right? We express our signs through our mouths, <laughs> and so like even if like you don't, you're in the early stages with someone and you don't know where they're at, and you're just like feeling it out, mm -hmm. but you want a commitment and you want to be in a real relationship. Ask them, ask yes. them where they're at, yes, and be willing to let them go. 
if they aren't wanting what you want. Like, we have to be willing to let everyone go. Because if we hang on because the connection is so nice and it feels so special and this person is just so beautiful in every way. Like, I've been so, so into people that have been so blatantly, like, I cannot give you what you need. Mm. And I've just, like, let the... Hi! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yep. Yeah. Oh, I <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, I've let the connection be stronger than, like, where, what we want, mm. what each of us want, you know? And that has never ended well. It's been, like, long, drawn-out, painful experiences. Mm-hmm. So listen to the words oh listen to the words um i want to add on to that too when you notice that they're saying these words but then their actions do not match up especially the nice words okay the nice words do not match up with the actions and i've been in relationships where it's like i still stayed and i still chose to it's like i wanted to grab onto like the nice words because that's all i had in that relationship that's all i had and moments where it was nice and that's all i held on to but i was so delusional and not looking at what's actually going on or what's been going on where the actions wasn't matching up with the words a lot of broken promises a lot of broken commitments and here i am in an unhealthy relationship unhealthy attachment yeah Ooh, when you're clinging on to like the good times but those times were of the past and they're no longer a consistent thing in, in, in your present yes yeah Ooh, gotta wake up man another one <laughs> what do you guys what size do you guys have that you guys have seen that's unhealthy right let's share it so people can see and be aware yeah so another one which has been a really hard one for me is when your best friends yeah are kind of like like eh, right oh. and you just have all the excuses as to why this person is blah 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 blah, blah mm. right you just like are filled with reasons and excuses and it's like having uh. compassion for people and having compassion for people's pain is a wonderful thing but if it comes at the expense of your own well-being then it's Ooh. no longer okay. useful you know like if someone is hurting you and you can see that they're in a lot of pain and they're hurting you comes from their own pain great to have that perspective but also stop putting yourself through torture you know and our friends will tell us because our friends want the best for us Mm -hmm. and when we are in good healthy love our our best closest people are happy for us and supportive Mm -hmm. of that Mm -hmm. and you know want that for us so yeah Ooh, trust your friends wow another thing that came up for me as you were saying that too is signs of an unhealthy attachment is um how would I say it? If you're not consistently happy, I just want to say there's something wrong there, right? So if you are in a relationship and there's attachments and the outcome is still like unhappiness going on, there's there's something wrong there. If there's something wrong there. If you're in pain more than mm-hmm. you're in goodness, something's up. Yeah, <laughs> something's off there. Yeah, it's not healthy. Mm, signs of an unhealthy attachment. I believe we covered it all. Unhealthy attachments, right? If the result of this attachment is not promoting growth, yeah, not promoting healing, not promoting acceptance, not promoting love. Mm-hmm. Um, if you feel like you're somehow. in it by yourself, mm. if you feel like you're doing all the work, if you feel like you're watering all the seeds, yeah, unhealthy attachment. Mm-hmm. Yes, self sabotage. So, yeah, um, now that you guys are aware, let's talk about what it looks like when there is a healthy attachment going on. Mm-hmm.